Time to needlessly color everything again. Oh, yeah. I just wasted the red paint that I had. Oh, no. I guess it's orange that I need. Okay, so oh, it, yeah. if you just leave and come back, everything refills. Wow, you got like, yeah, you're almost full now. Mm -hmm. I do need yellow, though. Okay, yellow. And I have no idea where to get You need sweat. No, no yellow there. Uh, have you gone west of town? I bet there's stuff over there, because that seems to be the only area we haven't gone. I feel like it was blocked off, but I might have just been my eyes being silly. Oh, I'm gonna paint this. No. That's not very fun. There we go. Ah, hit it again! Whoa, it is a thing. I couldn't even tell. There's also a spot. Because bricks are red! I guess these bricks are orange! <laughs> Who's ever heard of an orange brick? That's part of the game. Oh yeah, I guess I can. I guess the trees just made it look like it was cut off. I wish they would, like, spoot out color and, like, die again if you hit them too much. <laughs> I figured by it saying I was saving my progress when I hit it. Yeah, thanks for reminding me what a save thing is. I've literally never played a video game that could save. The last game I played was Mario 1. I'm going immediately from that to this. Hey, you know, there's, there's kids. Yeah. But see, if you just like, you, <laughs> you hit the block and it says saving. And then the character says, you're saving. That doesn't help a person who doesn't know what saving is. <laughs> like, that means that when you lose your HP, you come back to this spot and your progress is restored. But if that happened, I would be very, very upset at the game. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Fix-It. Oh. Don't you love when they go away and then reappear? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Just to remind you that, hey, I, you can talk to me by pressing this button. Please, I'm so lonely. <laughs> I don't want to just live in your pants. <laughs> You know what's funny? What? I, uh, I had an idea really similar to this, like, I don't know, like in the mid-2000s, when the DS, you know, like before the 3DS and this, whatever, years ago, I imagined a Paper Mario game on the DS, and I imagined it being a thing where someone had stolen all the colors, and it would, but that, it would be like every time you beat a world, you got back a color. So it would restore all the stuff in the world of that color. Oh, that's neat. But it was still, it's really, it's just weird that it, there ended up being a Paper Mario game that has a very similar concept of restoring color to stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Huey just reminded me again that I can press up on the D-pad to talk to him. You're right, I did notice that. <laughs> I hope, you know, I had forgotten, so oh my gosh. Goom! I, I mean, boom! Fight me! <laughs> Imagine it with Meta Knight's voice. Fight me! Oh, right, bottom screen. Oh, the cards you pick up are already colored in. Ah, uh, okay. So the cards you pick up in the world are like free moves. So does that mean you still get to keep the card? It just becomes uncolored? Uh, I don't know. I can't color it, so like, yeah, it is fully colored in. I just wonder if it'll drain it and let you keep it. Okay, not the best time to press it. Yeah, I guess... It still works, though. We didn't go to the dojo. I, I, that little circle was filling in. I kind of assume you wait till the circle is a circle. Hammer scrap. Oh, okay. There you go. There's your XP. Thank you. I'm sure that'll fix the problem, because I've even said, like, with Sticker Star, I was like, it doesn't even need to be much. Even if they just made, like, a HP, like, that's what is gained, like, you know, after so many, <coughs> pardon me, so many battles, it would just be something small. Mm -hmm. But with Sticker Star, it was nothing, so this will probably be fine. Even if it's still, like, not even a big deal in my stupid brain, I still go, oh good, progress when I fight. I'm very easy to fool. <laughs> even if there's just a little bit of progress. Yeah. No, At seriously. Something. No, I totally am that way, and it's totally stupid. <laughs> but, like, in a lot of games, I just... 
when I fight, I need to be accomplishing something, even if I don't need that thing at all. Like yeah. in Fallout 3, when I maxed out my level, I was just like, oh, I don't want to play anymore. I don't gain XP for fighting. I don't want to fight guys. I don't want to go around and have to fight guys, because then I'll just try to avoid everybody. So that's when I stopped playing. Mm -hmm. Which is like, I don't, I didn't need the levels. I'm like, I oh, remember how you can talk to him? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, wow, it's basically what I said. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm similar. I can't just play games mindlessly. I need to have some sort of goal. Yeah. Even if it's just a simple one. Just something. Like, the whole plot of regular Mario game, which, which is just save the princess. That's enough for me. Mm -hmm. But when it's like, I have no idea where I'm going, no idea what to do, I get bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lazy water wheel. So what is water in their world? I don't know. Because it's paper, but it's water. Dissecting the physics. Do you think this takes place in the same universe as uh, Yoshi's Epic Iron? I don't know. That's not right. Yoshi's Woolly World? I, I, I don't know. And then, like, Kirby's I, Epic Yarn. I don't know, it's just like... The world of handmade stuff. And the fact that they were all made of yarn in one, and then, like, 3D yarn in another was just like... What is that guy doing? <laughs> I'm gonna get this first. You know, homeless people. You never know what you're gonna catch them doing. You kind of just keep walking by. Especially in an alleyway, facing yeah, away. Yeah, exactly. Shaking up and down. I just visited Hollywood. I know how that is. How was that? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm... I, I, I tweeted it, but I'm 58% I'm, I'm sure I saw Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps getting out of a car. <laughs> I wish I'd yelled anyway. So what was he doing? Was he trying to slip the color out of the wall? I really don't know. I think he was going to the bathroom. I just... Oh, gotta flick the card. Like, I prefer... Oh, gotta pay attention. I prefer being having the option to just select the card instead of having to flick it up at the screen. Yeah, that's the, that's the Nintendo thing where they get these weird little ideas in their head and like, no, it's like you're sending it up. And we're like, we don't care. <laughs> Functionally, that means nothing. But it's just that little detail that they're just so crazy about. Mm -hmm. Too gimmicky. A lot of their gimmicks are really good and they make for great games. But a lot yeah. of times it's also just inconvenient. Very often. Did I already cover that? Yeah, I already did. I had the rainbow cover. Yeah, very often works out. And very, very often doesn't. The royal toilet paper. <laughs> Where? The the gate. It's like two rolls of toilet paper. Oh wow! I think you're right. <laughs> Never thought that would be a yeah, emergency game. TP system. That's <laughs> funny. Never thought shy guys with straws would be at the description of some menace. Yeah. I wonder if it's if I hit them with the hammer pre-battle or first strike. So many steps to get the card up there. Okay, so that's kind of aggravating. Yeah, just like those, those up, I guess. You mean the thing you told me a bit ago? I really wish she had reminded you. <gasps> oh. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, the the meter is the same size. It's just wow, it went up by fifty. Wasn't it a hundred before? Yeah. It's a huge amount. <laughs> Maybe later in the game it'll just be thousands, and it'll be fifty at a time. It'll be way less impressive. <laughs> Get to work. I can color those plants now. I 
See, I wanted it to finish, and then the coins dump down <laughs> over the edge. He's like, oh, thanks, game. That's what I needed. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> what a moron. Ha. I know he walked like eight feet away, and he's just like, oh, I guess he lost interest. Oh, that's clever. The, uh, their health meter is the how much color they have left. See that? Yeah, and you got like half of it because you got the first strike. You messed up, flesh face. I've just been killing them all in one hit, so we haven't noticed that. Have Shy Guys talked a lot in the past? If they have, it's always been in Paper Mario. I'm trying to remember the first one. When you go down to the toy box, if they talk, I guess they probably do. Yeah. I don't know why it seems out of place. I guess it is just because in every other game they're like, row, row, row. yeah, just these funny little guys. I love shy guys, by the way. <laughs> I really love them, and I wish they were more utilized. So can I still call this one? Yeah, he is real. He's just hiding behind a dead body. <laughs> We can tell you're from the Yellow District. Now imagine a society where the color of you determined where you had to live. I know, there's probably these like... <laughs> there's like wars between them. <laughs> uh oh, this one's red. Does that mean it's bad? Oh, it means he attacks first. I should be paying attention. But look at this. Look, so you have to, you have to click the card, drag it in place, okay. hit card ready, and then you paint it, and you hit done painting, and then you flick it up. That is horrendously annoying. You know what I like to do? Hit A to select jump, and hit A to select the guy I want to jump on. That is complicated. Suppose they talk. Dang, you really are a hero. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little. Oh yeah. Whoa, tiger. You don't look like you belong in the yellow district. It's invading. He has a uh, forbidden romance. <laughs> I'm sure that's a fanfiction somewhere. Or will be. Oh, yeah. The Purple Toad in the Yellow District. I'm sure there are endless sagas that take place in the, Mar the Paper Mario universe. <laughs> Only Peach, though. No one else is allowed in. Also, it only locks from the outside. You think Peach was kidnapped? <laughs> By this crazy toad. <laughs> <laughs> also, what is fire in their world? I guess also paper, but... Yeah. I want to see some fire catch fire to something. Like... Oh, that's a bunch of people. This is a bunch of them. <clears throat> like, I want to see something on fire with the paper fire. Oh, it's my last already colored card. So they are gone then. Yeah. But do I not get to choose which Goomba I hit? So does that mean that there are two types of cards and that the ones you find will always be a one use thing? Or have all of these been getting used even when you fill them up with color? Well, the, uh, the two boots the colorless two boots are gone. Okay, so they are, they are stickers just plus paint. So they're even more like of a thing to use. <laughs> Ouch. I kind of thought the fact that there were cards would be like, oh, you have a deck of cards. And I thought you would just use up the paint on each one. Okay, that's a, uh, wow. That's more complicated. Yeah, it is. So you have even more to lose. When you fight. Especially since when you use your uh, hammer in the world, that uses the same thing that you use to... 
Yeah, that wow. Fight. Have you just been loading it up totally with paint? Yeah. I don't know. Like, how do you know? I guess you just have to experiment. Yeah. Like, I, actually, it tells you how much paint it's using on the upper left. Mm -hmm. So, just, like, the Goomba died on the first stomp, and it only used a quarter of the paint in that sticker. So I could have only filled it with a quarter of the paint. Oh, okay. So you kind of just, like, fill it up all the way, and then just see how fast it dies. And yeah. And go from there. That makes sense. I don't think water should be like that. <laughs> oh, it's because he's drinking the color from it. What does it take, like, one speck of color off of a thing to make it just not work forever? Or do you go to the ocean and just take off a speck of color and the ocean stops? You know, all the fish in it just die. Why do you go inside? You stop! <laughs> this is horrible! <laughs> That's the same joke! You can't use the joke! Okay, press it. Maybe if you press it once, they'll stop telling you. Because that was literally the same joke. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a... Do it until you... Until you do it. <clears throat> well. Good. Now stop. Please. <laughs> that poor guy. I almost feel bad for him. I was just drinking water! He just smashed him so bad. I was just thirsty! <laughs> Let's see, I'm only going to paint this one half. Okay, that was, it feels way faster than I was expecting. <laughs> so it's almost full. You know what would make it a lot better, and like, what would have been the same thing in Sticker Star? Is if like, once you reach a certain point in the game, you get a special sticker or card that's just a basic jump or hammer that's unlimited. And so, like, it's not as powerful as other stuff, but then, at, oh, you have earned the ability to fight at least low-level enemies without wasting stuff. Yeah. That would be cool. I would definitely appreciate that. Because especially in stickers, I mean, you know, they, they just get better and better and better. You get to the point where, like, you're visiting an old area or whatever, and it's just, like, anything you want to use. Like, any guy you want to kill. Oh, I have to use my, my triple boot shiny, because it's the weakest thing I have. Want to jump on him. He's Mario. He can jump no That's matter what. He doesn't need a sticker. To tell him how to jump. What was the explanation behind the stickers? Was it just like a magical power or something? I, no, I, I think it just is that way. This is the way that it is. The end. There's this thing over here I gotta activate. That's the Nintendo thing. It's just... This is the way that it is now. Don't ask questions. Yeah. Oh, the dreaded Bowser sticker. Woo! I know there were still things that I had to paint again. <laughs> I'm getting him! Good 100% this game! 100% speedrun! There's, no, there's nothing anywhere in the game that tells you what percentage of stuff you've painted, but we all know. I always love that about games. Like, people will come up with their own way of 100%ing a game. I cannot hit this spot for the life of me. Wow. Okay. There you go. Like, there's no achievement for it. And the game doesn't give you a percentage, but, you know, on the message board, we'll all know. <laughs> Oh, this thing. Ah. <laughs> what about the, the rim of the <laughs> flower bed that's white? It's white. It, I've hit these before, though. I don't think that counts. Yeah. Mario gets all obsessed with painting. He's like, the white in between the spots on the toad's head! <laughs> Just keeps smashing him with a hammer. It's like, I'm colored! No, you're not! I say white! Mario paint! Oh yeah, I bet there's a ton of those jokes in here. Welcome to my store. Also, can you save my wife? What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, just while you're here. Oh no, never mind. I forgot there are no girl toads. It's just toads. Were there no toadettes in any of the trailers? Or I guess I there's don't. only the toadette. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't remember seeing any. I mean, I suppose it makes sense, because mushrooms are plants. Well, hey, I mean, if it hadn't already happened in Paper Mario, I'd be like, okay, that's just how toads are. But that's how it was. I mean, just, you know, half the toads were girls, because they were just girls and boys. I had a springy one. Oh, so, so pre-colored, they're a lot more expensive. Okay. Might as well stock up on some. I don't have any of these Heelys. They gave you a lot of coins so far. I have painted everything in the area. Yeah. Cool. Just a bunch of everything. Why not? Man, I'm getting ready for a boss here. Oh, yeah. You're, you're gonna go through that gate. It's gonna be the boss of the arena. The area. I added an end to that word. <laughs> Every area can be an arena if you try hard enough. So I wonder how big each, like, world or whatever is. Like, how many individual levels. I mean, like, is this gonna be one of the stars? Of the just six? No, someone's gonna steal it. Oh, there you go, that's why. <laughs> it's a mini pink star. Yep. Ah. Gotta get the, uh, like, however so many mini stars of each world. Probably five, because it's five points. Yeah. Five levels in each world, six worlds. Yeah. Oh no! Wind! Who'd have thunk it? Oh no! It's a Koopa guy laying. Koopa wing guy. Whoa. That's a bucket of paint with a toad on it. Where'd they get that? I'm hoping they're stealing all this paint just to make like some fancy portrait of Bowser. Yeah. Like they don't even have any bad intentions. They don't realize what they're doing. <laughs> they just want a really big, really big picture. Also, I hope you go back down there and everything is just sucked out again. Oh, it's raining stuff. Oh yeah, it's like in a sticker star. <laughs> That'd be your li limited time. I missed that last thing. Now this game has unlimited potential for uh, that's, that's cool. for tedium. They're just gonna be like, the area was unpainted again! Go do it again! <laughs> Just like any number of times. Oh, there's two red stars in this area. Oh, okay. But I assume the other one... Oh, over the bridge. Oh, At okay. some point, that bridge is going to get fixed. Right. Okay. It's like okay. Tin foil. This one is two. And we'll save that for next time. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Break time. Well, there was no boss.